This is the how to build a performance road glide on a budget bagger. And it's done. It's done on the budget. The budget got a lot more extensive than what it was in the beginning. We started out with 11 grand. I think we ended up more in the $20,000 range-ish probably. But this thing is nasty. Super, super nasty. Super stoked. I haven't got to ride it yet. We just got it back from the dyno. It got tuned. It made 115 horse, 120 foot pounds on a 107. Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Let's get down for a refresh. In the front, we've got some aftermarket Harley Davidson. They're the Harley Davidson PA catalog wheels. I don't know which ones they are, but there's some of the fancy Harley Davidson wheels with floating rotors. It's got a Dyna front fender. It has Lowrider S Dyna lower legs. It has Dyna gold tubes from T uh, Pro One. It has Legends cartridges inside of those. We have Geezer Glide billet 49 millimeter conversion trees on this bike because this is a 2011. It came with 41 millimeter originally. We have a new fairing painted inner and outer. Also have TC Bros six and a half inch pullback risers. Uh, fly moto moto bars on them we got rid of all of the switch housing stereo shit and the bagger switch housing switch it over to Dyna with gold switches this is all new aftermarket stuff nest mirrors dakota digital gauges this is the my machinist gauge relocation kit it's pretty dope we did the whole video on that too it's in the series you guys can check that out there are speaker grills but no speakers there's no stereo system there's no big wiring harness i pulled probably 45 pounds of wiring out of this and probably about 90 pounds out of the front of the motorcycle overall like literally 90 fucking pounds of bullshit in the front of this bike the wiring was a lot a lot of work a lot of we didn't film most of that because it's kind of boring and i'm not going to explain all of it it's too much to do but we did everything like if you come back around over here when it comes to wiring this thing's stripped down to basically like a chopper now the, that big ass harness out of the back the backbone that's all gone i rewired everything to just bare minimum up front it's running off a turnkey down here that's it start button still fires like normal that's all your power all this shit is dummy the high low works uh, there's no horn there's no blinkers run stop switch is fake slimmed all that shit down which made these handlebars a lot easier to get wire through because they're a son of a bitch to pull wire through we also have the uh, a Clockworks, it's their low pro windshield, it's my favorite. Kicks up over your face real nice, still looks nice and hard. <clears throat> We've got the Santor Fabworks cage on this. I have this same crash bar set up on my road glide, which I've already dumped that bike three or four times. There's video of that on our page too. It's in one of our vlogs. I drift it and slide it and I, and I just tossed it and this shit works, like saved the bike completely didn't hurt anything on the bike except for this I, I did smoke a Delrin I got to replace that uh, but it's dialed I, I like it a lot I like it a lot um, we have I don't remember what brand I think this is a Screaming Eagle intake it's the big one with our air cleaner cover on here our KO air cleaner cover our points cover it's all matching kit it's got a polished stealth pipe on it my, my favorite there is out there uh, it has a Thunder Max in it too which just a heads up, putting the big O2 sensors in a stealth on this year bagger and getting the pipe to fit is a son of a bitch. The O2 sensors, like they hit the tranny, they're just a little too big. Really, really hard install when putting this thing on. So think that one through when you're like planning out your build, you're gonna run one or the other, I would say. I run both, but it took me like eight hours to put that exhaust on, <laughs> it was a bitch. Um, coming back around, Saddleman. It's a Cruzy original style. Tuck and roll, tri gripper, logo on the back, step up, moves you forward and up just a little bit. It's really nice. Got a Pro One gas cap cover. This was an Ultra Classic too, so it had like all the CB shit, all the radio shit, all that stuff for back here. I removed all of that stuff. It had lids that had amps and shit built into it and speakers, so we got rid of that as well. We just put, these are just aftermarket bags right here, they're new. Replace that made it simple made everything nice and gloss black uh, We've got flow moto pegs on the passenger peg We also have these I'll, I'll go around and show you these side covers on the other side to get a better look But there's our derby cover down here. It's our regular style with the stump bunny in it we've Got a green brothers designs shift linkage down here 
We also have up front the Green Brothers Designs. This is the flush mount axle setup. Makes everything nice and pretty down there. All the stuff is available on the website. All the Green Brothers Design stuff we run on everything. We've got uh, Paul Yaffe. Uh, bar mount relocation kit on the bottom to get rid of that big bullshit down here so we can run this looks nice looks pretty uh, background over here the dirty bird concepts these are the side covers this duct right here is channeled and runs a port all the way back to the brake caliper so it forces air in your rear brake and it cools your rear brakes while you're riding it looks solid i like it it fit up really nice some dirty bird concepts pretty sure those are available on our website as well all this stuff is available on our website cruisyoriginals.com if it's not available on there we can get it to you really fast just call the shop talk to trent he'll help you out real quick uh i'm gonna take this thing for a rip and go ride it i'm real anxious it sounds nasty 120 foot pounds out of twin cam that's that's pretty good power for a ride and it rips <laughs> like I gave it a little burr and a little clutch flick you know just kind of see what it would do and it came right up on me like super violent and fast and went, oh shit and then I just gave a little whack again I whacked it and it just stood it wheelies like a sportster with a giant motor in it like it just wants to come up all violent I didn't want to blow his fender and bags off so I you know little you know short one Man, and then I took it out here and I hit some corners on Greenway and stuff too. This thing just phenomenal. It feels light as hell. It feels like it feels like a little dyna. It feels like a little bike. Just getting rid of all that bullshit, dude, that doesn't need to be in the bike. You know, it's just weight. Getting rid of all that made a world of difference. The motor also shreds really hard. It's really powerful. Really fun bike to ride. I'm really stoked on it. We'll be doing more stuff on this as we go as you know floorboards and more things and things come up that he wants to change or if he blows the motor up who knows we'll be building more stuff on this bike but until then it's pretty much done and we're going to give it over to shadrach i give to you guys shadrach's biblical blaster she is a beast i'm real stoked on it stay posted we've also got a 21 road glide from house of harley that we are building right now we've got a 21 honda monkey that we are building into a miniature harley davidson it's super super dope we are building a twin cam soft tail into a stunt bike. We are building a 2018 M8 Fat Bob into a custom bike we will be raffling off and giving away to someone. We have a lot of rad shit going on, so check us out on Instagram, Cruzy Originals. Check us out on Facebook. I don't ever use it. Cruzyoriginals.com. It's got all your motorcycle needs, apparel, everything. Everything you need, everything that's on this bike is on there. And if it's not on there, call the shop. Talk to Trent. He will get you dialed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, go tell a friend. Peace. Got a heart that's good as gold. Pushing respect on my name. It's in the past, don't you worry, baby. I won't budge, won't judge. That's a promise, baby. Cause we could all use a lifeline. Make it last a lifetime. Picture perfect scenes ain't the model, baby.